Islam, 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 soyez Baba wa sende pogo, Islam, on a dit que Islam, soyez paix, all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors as you keep supporting this channel well my people your band nation no going back and exactly what the people are talking about all right my people this is another good news reaching us right now well according to what had been gathered what news the news that is reaching us right Right now, it has been gathered that hmm, the Islamic scholars in Yoruba land finally surrender to Yoruba nation. Well, <laughs> I know a lot of people be like, are you serious? Well, no, you know, we've heard of the fact that some, no, most especially some Yoruba people, some of them are actually for Yoruba Lokon. Yes, when we talk about Yoruba Lokon, we are talking about the Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's movement. <laughs> All right, let me take that again. When we are talking about Yoruba Lokon, we are talking about Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's movement. And then right now, you know, we have some yes set of Yoruba people who we always say mm, Yoruba Lokon. While some sort of people are shouting, Yoruba nation no going back. All right, and uh, right now, I think you no, know, it's now all going well to you no know, majority of the Yoruba people. Now they have seen it that hmm, the Yoruba nation agitation, the Yoruba nation movement is just the true way, is just the only way that anyone can smile as far as this country, Nigeria, is concerned. All right, and then as it stands right now, hmm, good news as Islamic scholars finally surrender to Yoruba nation movement. And I think this is a, a great one. And uh, you have heard one of the scholars, you know, talked about the fact that you no, know, one of the reasons that actually made him to you no know, leave one Nigeria to support Yoruba nation. In fact, he made mention of five things. Yes, so five things that he talked about. And then onto this one, I will be discussing those five things he said hmm, with you people. Well, my people, and then you know, the first thing he says, hmm, according to what he said anyway, he said Islam cost him to go with Yoruba nation. <laughs> well, some people will be like, how come? What exactly does that mean? Yes, he said the religion, Islamic religion, had made him to say no to one Nigeria simply because what had been stated in the Quran. And then according to this scholar, he said a lot of things. And then the five things I will start to discuss with you right now. The first thing he talked about is that, okay, fine. Religion, talking about religion, is very important be you a christian or a muslim you should you know serve god in any form you want to serve god hmm that's serious well i think some sort of people are beginning to understand where we are going to going to where we are driving at all right he talked about religion the christian and the muslim religion and then you know, according to him he talked even talked about the fact that you know uh, any other religion you believe in fine you can continue with that well the second one he said he talked about the fact that you should not kill anyone <laughs> you must not kill you must not kill be you a muslim or a christian or any other any other religion you believe in don't ever kill your fellow human being you can kill animal there are some animals that god has you no know, ordered us to you no know, kill and eat fine but when we're talking about human being according to the scholar he talked about the fact that you no know, the quran say you should not kill Yes, yeah, so don't kill anybody simply because, oh, the person is not, you know, doing your form of religion. <laughs> I think some sort of people are getting it right now. Because some, some people will tell you that, no, if you don't want to become a um, Christian, mm, we, must, oh, we must deal with you. Or if you don't want to become a Muslim or you don't want to serve our God, we must deal with you. He said the Quran, God did not say that you should force somebody 
for, uh, to do your own you no know, religion either you are a christian or a muslim do your thing <laughs> and then don't kill well though don't get it twisted there are some rules and regulations in the country which says when you kill you must be killed yes the bible said that the wages of sin is death when you kill a human being yeah and then what the government will do to you is to get you killed that's why the, the case of that young man who killed a lady when he lied that no there was a job for the lady at the end of the day he killed the lady at the end of it what happened to this young man he was hung to death yes he died by hanging so exactly that you can kill that is now and that one is for the government to decide on that when you are being caught that you kill somebody or more no good deal then go by you so that is that well uh but for this case that we are talking about you should you don't even have any cause to say you want to kill somebody because the person is not doing your religion or anything that one then god does not want it and the, the scholar had made us to understand that it's one of the reasons that he is living for yoruba nation movement that a country whereby you no know, killing are just been the order of the day innocent souls will be killed somebody will just be kidnapped the next thing you kill the person for for doing nothing the person has not offended you. So that kind of a country, is that the kind of a country that people want to now say, will they want to remain in? No, 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 no. It cannot happen. Well, a lot of things do have been said unto that one. And then meanwhile, God has not given us any order to kill. And that's why you see you no know, the likes of the, you know, the Boko people. You understand what I'm talking about? The next thing they will say, no, 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 no. This one, when we kill, then when we kill for Allah and all that, this will happen. This one will, you no. Know, we will get reward and heard that no 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 according to the islamic cleric he has said that no god never said that simply because what is going on in the country right now nigeria a lot of killings everywhere is that the kind of nation that a normal person should say he wants to remain and uh, it's one of the things that have made him to say no 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 i'm going with the yoruba nation <laughs> well when i heard this myself i was so impressed that wow thank god this is coming out and then uh, no with time people will understand what is going on people will definitely understand the right thing to do that is why i am always surprised when i see you no know, when i hear some set of people saying they want to they want to remain with one nigeria well it's so saddened that you no know, majority of people with everything all the you no know, bad things that have been happening in the country nigeria some set of people are still dominate fit to say no it is one nigeria they want well according to the islamic cleric he had been able to let us understand that as far as this movement is concerned as far as nigeria is concerned this set of people are not doing the right thing and he reasoned it that if he continues with this set of people <laughs> that he will be doomed that god will not forgive him so therefore let us use that english so therefore because when we say so it will not be catchy when we say only therefore it won't be catchy <laughs> so therefore my people i am going for yoruba nation <laughs> now i think you understand what that means hmm, hmm that is serious and then no it talked about number three the number three has been that do not suffer your neighbor according to what had been gathered according to what god said you should not suffer your neighbor for anything well anything in the sense that no we are not saying any any child that misbehaves must not be punished no that is not the kind of suffering <laughs> well it's, yes even the bible said it that uh, the you no know, the wages of sin is death okay fine we understand that but according to what had been gathered god has said that don't suffer your neighbor for anything and then you know when we, when we look at what is happening in the country well, we understand that you can imagine what is going on in the country uh, nigeria no, making some situation whereby you see, feel no a lot of people are not no suffering yet only one some man set of people we in, hear no, no in the position of authority 400 billion in the that, no, they can we hear do only and one man stole 800 billion naira when people say, oh, are suffering some people going to have not even eaten like for the past one no week good when no good meal the fund is there to make it happen but you're just suffering that a lot of people will say 
exactly it's what very is happening cheap in the country that, Nigeria. You know, it's very so now easy the to afford. It's not very expensive. And then about it, and they the money said, is there. Somebody no is stealing hmm. 200 this billion that naira. God is not sending in support. It abroad and they use their own country. You can imagine. You remain in. Why, 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 why? No way, no way. God has God come to me. I have given a lot of nation movement. I think this is a very great that can take care of to every one nation as it is us onto this one. Well, and then meanwhile, he also talked about that you must not in any way, no, no, fraud your fellow human being. Hmm. No, that this one actually talks so much about majority of people in the country, but most especially, he, you know, he traced this to the government. Okay, look at now. There are some funds that you supposed to make to go round in circulation yet only one man will steal money that can feed our whole state <laughs> that can feed our whole country you can imagine and in that kind of a country so a lot of people will now say we should remain in that kind of country this islamic caller had come out and uh, he has said it that this is one of the reasons why he will not succumb and uh, this is the reason that he will definitely go for the yoruba nation movement because no we have all seen it that the yoruba nation is is the answer when everybody goes their separate ways i think a lot of things will work out look at you no know, ghana for instance you can imagine i remember in those days that you no know, ghanaians will come to nigeria they will pack our currency they will work very hard when they get to their country they will be able to do a lot of good things with that money hmm. like seriously they'll be able to do a lot of things with that money but now look at what is happening the reverse has not been the case it's nigerians that are now running elta together to get ghana visa <laughs> my brother what a shame what a shame Shame. Well, uh, the other day, the you know, Republic of Benin, they were celebrating 10 years of you no know, non-interruption of power supply. <laughs> 10 years. A country that is not even up to, you know, that Lagos State is bigger than Nigeria, in case you don't know. <laughs> that is what we are talking about. Yes, yeah, so, and then now, now the people are saying we want to, they want to go their separate ways. Sometimes the people don't understand what they, they mean by that. Well, it's only the good Lord that will help us all. Well, according to the cleric, he has said a lot of things that, hmm, you should not in any way, no, fraud your neighbor. Don't try it to fraud your neighbor. God is not in support of that. Don't ever try to make your neighbor to suffer. Hmm. That is another serious one. Hmm. And then meanwhile, he talked about the fact that hmm, you should protect your generation. I think this one he said is you no know, one thing that a lot of people you no know, needs to understand. He said, as you no know, as a as a nation, as a tribe, hmm, as a tribe, you should endeavor to protect your generation. Talking about protecting your generation, for instance, the Yoruba nation right now. Yoruba themselves is like is a generation, is a tribe on its own. Because this the generation of Yoruba to come after some set, some set of people will come. You have seen that a lot of people had gone. Yet the Yoruba have started a long time ago. Then that's why the people will talk about the fact that the uh, the Ife how it started and not that. I believe they were all Yoruba people, descendants of Yoruba people, and uh, it's going like that. So he said, uh, the, uh, the Quran said that you should protect your generation. Don't allow your you no know, generation to suffer. <laughs> that is, we're talking about the generation unborn right now. Okay, for instance, according to what he talked about, he said, okay, you as a Yoruba man, you now open your eyes, you now allow some other you no know, tribe to come to your land and take over your land that God is not interested in that. That if that ventures happen, <laughs> that means you will suffer it. You can imagine hmm, that is, is going to be a great punishment for you to allow your generation to suffer or for you to allow someone else to take over, to, to take away your property from you. <laughs> that God will never forgive such a fellow. That is why Yoruba Nation agitation, if you take a look at this set of people, you will believe, you will see that you know, they are not just doing it on their own. God is actually you know, at work. That is why you can see a lot of them. The cooperation is so high. That's why you can see a lot of them shouting it that no going back. And then as it says, I think nobody should go back on this movement. Well, this cleric admitted 
made a lot of people to understand that as far as Yoruba Nation movement is concerned, he is in full support of the movement. All right, my people, and a lot of things do had been said i think i quite enjoyed this and then i think i am well placed with this all right and then i would like to use this medium to encourage everyone out there to keep supporting yoruba nation most especially you that you are a yoruba man that is shouting yoruba locon <laughs> you need to wake up and then understand that you should be on the right path right now all right my people and exactly what it is onto this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless